Hey guys, this is Callum here, and I am bringing you guys Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.6.0. Yes, the update is finally out, and I've had a little bit of time to play around with it, and it is really awesome. There's a load of new features, so I'm going to try and go through them all. Uh, if I do forget one, let me know in the comments, and I can do a separate video on it. So I have a list here, and the first one I'm going to look at is signs. Signs have now been uh, implemented into the game, so uh, we're just going to go and craft a sign, and I'll show you guys... Uh, how it works basically. So you're going to go into your crafting menu and go down to this painting. Scroll down until you find sign. And oh, apparently I don't have enough. So uh, it is six pieces of wood and one piece and one stick to work uh, to make the sign. And you simply tap, and there we go. So you have this sign. You can either place it on the wall or on the floor. We're going to do it on the wall above this chest. So uh, in this chest is empty. So you simply tap, and it brings up this keyboard here. I have an itchy eye, sorry about that. And then you can simply type whatever you want. I'm just going to empty, so it's an empty chest. And once you finish typing, you simply tap this X button. And there you go, you know, this is really useful for me. Because on my Let's Play series, I have like a chest room. And I have no idea what's in what chest. So, you know, it works really well. It looks really cool. So now, one of the main features that a lot of people have been looking forward to. And that is armor. Arm has now been added into Pocket Edition. And I must say, it is amazing. It works really, really well. So you're going to simply go into your crafting menu and you can cr uh, go down to this armor and food icon. You can craft diamond armor, golden armor, iron armor and leather armor. I will explain how to get leather shortly. So now you're going to go and uh, you're going to need at least 25 pieces of your selected armor. For example, if I was going to do gold, I'd need 24 go 25 gold even, 25 iron or 25 leather. But in this case, I'm doing diamonds, so 25 diamonds, although I have 40. You can simply go through and... Uh, I think that's correct. I may be a couple out, I'm not sure. But yeah, there we go. So now we've crafted our uh, our, in, our armor. We're going to go into our inventory and click this armor tab. And this will bring up this really cool looking interface where you simply tap to wear your armor. And if you want to unequip your armor, you simply tap again. So it works really nicely. It gives you an idea of what your uh, character looks like. So uh, maybe if they added skins, like custom skins into the game in future updates, you know, this is kind of similar how it would work, I'm assuming. And now once you've done that, um, we'll just go into this view here. So you can see it looks really, really awesome. Uh, you know, I really like it. So uh, we'll go back into first person view, I think that is. And as you can see, the top of this uh, bar here, the, uh, what's it called? Armor bar. So that's really, really awesome. So now I'm just going to check what the next feature on my list is. And that is baby animals. Now, I was going to show you guys some baby animals. I did have some trapped in here. And uh, if we follow this very badly done a golden path I did actually have some uh, uh, all the baby animals trapped in like a little enclosure thing but they seem to have grown up into full sized animals so I'm sorry for that you know my apologies for that but you get the idea it's just like on PC and you're wondering how do we get these baby animals I think they're just randomly spawned uh, you know you can't really I've tried to breed animals with wheat and it doesn't work um, so yeah I'm not too sure why but maybe they haven't implemented that into the game and is this a baby chicken uh, I'm not sure but anyway you know you get the idea of what the baby animals look like so now we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna have to swap over to fancy graphics now because what you may have noticed is uh, well what, actually what I'm gonna do guys is I'm just gonna pause the game uh, stop the recording and I'll come back when it is uh, when it's daytime so be right back so sorry about that guys, um, I had to skip through the night. But anyway, the next feature, as you may already be able to tell, is the um, is the fog and sky colour has changed. It is now a light blue colour and this makes the game feel so much more brighter. It's just so much better, um, it makes it feel a lot more like the PC version. But you may be thinking, okay, so where are the clouds? And that's because I'm on low graphic settings. So I'm going to head on over to fancy graphic settings right now just to show you guys uh, the clouds. And they look really awesome. So there we go, we're on fancy graphics. It will lag a little bit, so uh, I'm just warning you guys. But I will swap back after I've shown you the clouds. So just wait for it. There we go. As you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, Pocket Edition does really look like PC version now with these clouds. Uh, the only thing we need now is like a sun and a moon and stuff. So yeah, guys, that might already be in the game. I'm not too sure. But anyway, guys, that looks really awesome. So we're going to head back onto lower graphics settings now. So bear with me one second. Uh... There they are, so we turn fancy graphics on and lower graphics. This is because I'm recording and uh, when I'm recording it does lag a little bit. Now the next uh, thing on my list is the improved D-pad. Now when uh, Johan Bernardson announced this on his Twitter page, I think it was him, uh, I was like, okay, I don't know how it's going to be improved, but 
you can tell these little uh, directions uh, going diagonal. Now this is when you're walking, you can slide your finger across and move in the diagonal direction. So you know, it just adds to it, it makes it look, a you know, it makes it look more, I don't know, just, it's more interesting I suppose, a uh, new way of moving like, around I guess. And also when you're on creative and you're flying about, the uh, when you tap, uh, fly these two buttons here, that one and that one change. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. Now the next thing on my list is um, the stone cutter. Yeah, the stone cutter. Now, this is a completely new thing to Minecraft. I don't believe it is in the PC version at the moment. So this is really awesome. So I'm going to show you guys what it is. It's basically take taken all the uh, taken all of the stone out of the crafting table inventory making thing and put it into a completely new one. So this organizes it a lot more. And from here, you can actually create quartz block, which is completely new, never brick, which is new, sizzled uh, smooth sizzled. Chiseled sandstone, there we go, I couldn't say it. Sandstone slab, creeper face one, uh, stone brick slab, and all that. So we have got a load of new block types, which I'm going to go and show you right now. So there we go, we've got the never rack, we've got the never brick, which can be used, uh, you obtain that by smelting down the uh, the never rack in the, what's it called, the furnace. Then we've got this original sandstone, then we have the chiseled sandstone, and then, or is that smooth sandstone? And then we have the uh, creeper face one, and then we have the quartz block here with different patterns. And now these blocks, two blocks here, are actually limited to creative at the moment. I'm not too sure why, maybe because there is no uh, mob spawners underground and stuff, that's why I haven't done the mossy one. But you know, these blocks are good, you know, if you've got a creative world, you know, you can use them. So now the next feature on my list is sheep can now be coloured with dyes. This is really, really awesome. Uh, so we're going to go make some dye real quick. We're going to make this... Uh, this yellow one so we're going to go over to the sheep and now what you need to do with the sheep is not tap it you need to tap and hold the sheep for it to die otherwise you'll just end up hitting the sheep and hurting it so there we go it looks really really awesome you know you can have a multicolored sheep farm now which is really really cool so uh, that's a great feature for them to add into the game now the next one on my list is the new stairs which uh, I don't think I've covered yet but there we go we've got the uh, well the new slabs the uh, s uh, what's it called sandstone slab stone brick slab uh, there are uh, stone brick stairs, never brick stairs, and quartz stairs, I do believe they are. Now I'm going to go and uh, sh I will show you at the end of this how to get the actual never rack, because uh, that may be confusing some people. Now the next item, uh, well the next feature on the list is uh, upside down stairs and corner stairs. So this work works really, really well. Um, I did want this in the, my Let's Play uh, series if you watch that. Um, I did say about I really wanted this because it'd be a great feature. So I'm not too sure if we're going to actually have enough um, what's called wood to make this. So my apologies for that. But we'll just go down and can we make... There we go. We can make how many pieces? That Eight pieces. So I can show you guys the uh, the rounded staircase. So if you just make a stair um, stairs like this and put one there, it rounds it off. You know, this is just a nice cool feature similar to the PC. Now, this is really exciting. You know, it's great for designing upside down the stairs. Now, I'm just going to go and place the stairs on top of this, like so. And there you go, it's upside down compared to the original, which looks like that. So, you know, it is really, really cool. Um, you know, it's great for designing and whatnot. So, that's an awesome feature. Now, um, it does say something to do with slabs can be placed in up positions, but I'm not too sure how that works. Uh, I'll see if I can kind of show you quickly now. So, I'll just get this uh, sandstone slab, which is uh, new, if I haven't said that already. And you can just place it up. You can place the uh, slabs more uh, different places. Now, this is another feature that Pocket Edition has got from PC, and that is the oh, I've got some flint from that. But uh, gravel and sand are now affected by gravity. Now, if you play PC version, you will know this, and if you don't, then basically this these are the only two blocks in Minecraft that uh, fall when you place them. So there we go. As you can see, it just falls down. So this is kind of a cool feature. You know, like I said, it makes it feel a lot, lot more like the uh, the PC version, which is awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go and show you how to obtain the Never Rack. Uh, this is a bug. Well, it's not a bug. This is a tweak. And this is um, actually what I can show you first is cows now actually drop leather. So if you want to make leather armor and stuff, this is how you do it. You simply kill the cows uh, with whatever weapon you choose. There we go, just try and kill the cow. There you go. He dropped some leather, so that's awesome. We'll go and kill this one. There you go, we've got some leather as well. I don't think they always drop leather, but you know, and that sheep's in the way. Bye sheep, I'm sorry. But anyway, so that's how you obtain the leather. Now we are... Leather? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. 
So we're going to go to this uh, Never Reactor, which uh, a lot of you know was kind of a letdown. It spawned loads of obsidian, but now, there you go, it spawns Never Act. So this is really awesome. It does also spawn a lot more items, like tons of items. This is how you get the quartz uh, kind of material block to make the quartz stone. As you can see, I'm on Peaceful, so uh, no zombie pigments uh, spawn. But yeah, there you go, that thing I just picked up is uh, what's required to make this quartz. Now, the last time I used this, I actually got a, just over a full stack of that quartz stuff. So as you can see, it does spawn a no end of items. So this is brilliant, you know. Uh, this is a great fix, uh, you know. I did really, really want this because, you know, after using Never Actor once, you get like four glowstone or something like that. But now you, uh, there you go, I got 42, I got 44 pieces of this quartz stuff and stuff is still spawning. So, you know, you get tons and tons of items. So this is a really, really good feature and then uh, obviously it breaks. And what you can do is you can destroy this pretty much instant. It's the same shape and design as the obsidian one, but it uh, now spawns Neverrack. So this is awesome, you know, it changes the world up a little bit, gives you a chance to uh, to destroy it easier. I suppose, you can, I think you can blow it up with TNT as well. So we'll go back over here to our little crafting bench area place. And uh, there you go, look there, we have the uh, Neverrack there, which we can put in the furnace to make Never Brick. And I think that is about, let me just check, um, yeah guys, that is about it, so it is a really awesome update, I highly recommend you go and update it now, uh, so thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this uh, informative, if you did, click that like button, that'd be awesome, make sure you subscribe to see, keep up to date with all the latest Pocket Edition updates, thanks for watching guys, and see you later.